Welcome to Scipio 2's YouTube channel. Appreciate y'all uh, taking time out of your day to come watch. Today we're going to do a quick wham bam boogie recoil spring and guide rod swap how to as it were for uh, specifically this Glock 35 but it's basically exactly the same on all Glock pistols. What we're going to be doing is replacing the factory plastic guide rod and 17 pound recoil spring assembly with this new design performance accessories stainless steel guide rod with a 15 pound recoil spring. One thing to note with these new design springs, they have the ability to interchange springs for different weights and uh, maintain the same guide rod. So here's what you get when you buy one of these new design kits. Very affordable option, by the way. Check them out on the internet at ndzperformance.com. Um, this model, again, is the 15-pound performance unit, specifically for the G17, but as you probably know, that will interchange with the 17, the 17L, 17 34, 35, 22, and then, of course, the compensated variants and whatever all the 357 SIG models are as well and possibly a few others that I'm not mentioning, but it definitely works with those that I did mention. So you get this nice little zippy lock bag, and inside of it, you get the recoil spring, an Allen wrench, and then this piece of cardboard with its lifetime warranty, customer support, and uh, fax numbers, email address, web domain address. So there you go. I mentioned this Allen uh, wrench for the recoil spring assembly. Basically what's different as opposed to, even though it is a captured spring assembly, it's not truly captured in the sense this grade 8 hardened bolt on the front here can be removed with the provided Allen wrench. You undo that carefully because of course this is under tension and you have a washer and then you have the spring and then you have the stainless steel one piece shaft with the extra thick uh, base into it. So you would clamp this into your vise or a pair of pliers, whatever, and um, undo that. And voila, you can buy the springs for a fraction of the cost of the whole unit and simply interchange your springs at will. But we're not going to be changing springs today because we bought the unit with the spring that we wanted, obviously already installed. So you take your Glock, obviously you wanna make sure it's empty. As you can see, there's no mag in there. Bing, bang, bang. Break it down like any other Glock. Slide the slide off. Recoil spring. This is this is pretty difficult, guys. Pay attention. Grab it by the tail. Lift it up and out. Take the new assembly. Nose in. Take your thumb. Give it a little push forward and push it down. Now there's two steps on the bottom side of your barrel. You want to make sure that this seat sets in the bottom lowest, closest to the actual barrel notch or step, as it were. Once it's in there and seated, reassemble your gun. Bada boom. That's it. That's how you replace a guide rod and recoil spring assembly on pretty much every Glock out there. Uh, I cannot think of a single one that doesn't swap out and change that way but that's how it's done then you can take this plastic flexible thing and don't throw it in trash save it for a rainy day god forbid you ever have a problem or something you may need that but um that's it that's all there was to it anyway there you go so thanks for watching we appreciate you taking that time out of your day as always everybody i'm going to tell y'all take care of yourselves take care of each other and God bless.